Hello everyone, this is Shadow Tech here with another video. Hope you've been doing well, but now let's get straight into it. Everyone loves apples, whether it be the fruit or the electronics company, but today I'll be talking about the latter. And well, I guess maybe not everyone loves Apple, but that's not the point. Apple was founded by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in 1976, but this was just a computer part, and they didn't start making phones until 2007. But what did they make in between smartphones and computers, and how did they get to that point? That sounds a bit boring, but trust me, this will be a trip to remember. I made a bunch of stuff that you probably don't know about, like the Apple Mouse or a disc, whatchamacallit. But in my opinion, the real thing that brought them closer to making the iPhone was the iPod. This was made in 2001 and was a way to listen to your favorite songs. Back in 2001, music consumption was very different and just media consumption in general. Back then, you had to download music from an MP3 player, and this could take a while to download. The main draw of the iPod is that you could sync it with, the, with iTunes, which was good for people who already had... Macintoshes, aka iMacs. Um, this was good because they could just download the music from iTunes instead of having to find a disc and download it. This was a big drawback. 2001 is something that we nowadays take for granted. This was one of the first three main apps the original iPhone had. Next is the Internet Communicator app. To my understanding, this is just a web browser. Like the other main apps, there is one cool thing about this which is pretty simple. This is a, a web browser on a device that could fit in your pocket. Let me say this again. This is a device with an internet browser that can fit in your pocket. Do you want me to say that again? <laughs> Just kidding. Computers at this time were pretty big and thick, and this was a huge deal for a mobile device to have an internet browser. Of course, this was slow and take this was slow and would take a really long time to load, but it was still a mobile device with an internet browser that can fit in your pocket. This was really cool back in the olden days of 2007. Next is the phone app. This was an app that you could call people on. At the time, people thought that it was revolutionary to have music calling in an internet browser on one device, and yet another thing that people take nowadays for granted. This was this was uh, this worked just like any other flip phone, except for one thing: the hardware. It had a huge, in quotation marks, 3.5 inch screen, which was actually quite large for a screen at the time. It also had a touch screen, so you could click different buttons, unlike other phones, which had a certain amount of buttons on the keyboard. So, like, let's say you could only use 20 buttons, while on the iPhone you could switch, switch between other buttons. I know it's hard to imagine that phones had real buttons back then. You may think, hey, Shadow, how did we get from having a tiny phone with, base, with basically three things to what we have now? And don't worry, I'll get to that soon, but for now, you'll have to wait. First of all, the three apps I was talking about was the draw, but there were other apps, of course, like a calculator and camera app, but most people weren't coming for that. That's not really as enticing as the other three apps I, I earlier stated. Again, I don't, I don't think you understand how, how much of a deal these three apps were. Okay, like a phone app, an internet browser, and music, all on one phone. But why did they become so popular? Couldn't everybody else do this? You may think that this is because they showed up and in, uh, and solved up a problem and solved a problem that we didn't know we had in a way that we didn't understand. And if you said that, you would have the same belief as I did. By the way, def definitely didn't get that from a shirt that I have. Um, it, they did this in another time, like let's say with the headphone jack. Uh, nope, you need more battery. So they took away the headphone jack. Oh, and coincidentally, we made wireless earphones that connected to the headphone jack. You may think that this is evil, but a lot of people like AirPods, so sometimes it can be a good thing. By the way, I'm probably going to make a follow-up video to this, because this is kind of like a follow-up to the Samsung one, which you might want to watch if you haven't watched that already. It's kind of like this, um, except it's going a little bit deeper into the past. So uh, I'm also going to talk about the, their two their greatest strengths and weaknesses, because this is kind of a follow-up to that. So I personally think that their two greatest strengths are the AirPods and the phones, specifically. This is because the wor this is because of one word, ecosystem. All of Apple's tech fits into each other, like their AirPods instantly connecting to the iPhone, and they can even use special features like spatial audio. I'd say they have one weakness, how late they are. They have phones that are more than $1,000, but they didn't get 120 hertz until 2021. And, and the iPhone 13. This was because they, they had a high refresh rate earlier on the iPad Pro. Samsung had an I, had a 120 hertz phone in March 2020 in the S21 Ultra. This is the iPhone was about 18 months late, but a lot of people don't like spending more than a thousand dollars when you're not getting the top of the line specs. So um, th this was the same with 5G and a lot of other things. I think uh, I think that they're drip feeding us these new features every year. Because if they didn't, then why would anybody buy the new iPhone? Like if two years ago, no, or if three years ago iPhone had 5G, then why would we buy the one from two years ago? So, uh, but still, even even though it's like that, I still think the iPhone is a good phone either way. 
So, in conclusion, Apple has many good things, but they're not really outstanding in every way, like other phones. But they're popular because of their ecosystem, or that's my opinion, and also their phones. Apple has made a lot of progress since their first product uh, from Apple, like the the Macintosh one, the Apple one, until today with the, I don't know, whatever you want to say is their latest thing or something. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, you might want to consider subscribing or liking. But also, if you dis if you didn't like this, then uh, click the dislike button because I want to know what you like and what you don't like, so I can make videos that you enjoy. So uh, I also had uh, some people help me with this video and uh, in editing the script and stuff. So thanks to them. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, shadow out. Have a good night day, depending on where you live.